Yeah, here I am in my vehicle, a place I get to be in every day, sometimes multiple times in a day. And you do too. Many of you are in your car, out on the road, even if it's just to make an errand or something, but a lot of commuting happens too. And you know, it's a little strange. There are so many of us out there on the road and almost all of us, it seems, are driving alone. We're by ourselves. A lot of commuters do and you get the encouragement with the high occupancy vehicle lanes and all that, but still, vast majority of people are just like this. As we commute, as we do errands, as we go on trips, we're alone. And while that could be a lonely kind of thing, I'd like to flip that around with you and talk about solitude. You know, a couple of habits ago, we talked about committing to community. And while this might seem like we're flipping and doing the opposite, well, think of it more as complementing that. We do need each other and we need to be in community of different kinds. But you know what? Each of us also needs solitude. Solitude where we can breathe, where we can reflect, where we can think and maybe pray. A little carryover from last week's habit. We need time with God. Because solitude for us humans doesn't mean that we're totally alone. It means we're alone with God. And that's a very good thing. Now, can you, do, can you do that while you're driving? You might be able to. As we're gonna hear about, there are lots of distractions and the car is not free of them by any means. We can get distracted no matter where we are, on a park bench by ourselves, in the car by ourselves, uh, at home on the couch. There's all kinds of distractions, uh, not the least of which is our phone or some other screen. But to practice solitude means we're, we're spending time um, in that wonderful margin of life and not so preoccupied with all the stuff of life that keeps going through our days. I think the challenge for us this week might be to bump up our time of solitude and intend to use it in a good way. Whether that's five minutes each day or 15 minutes a day, you can do it. And if you haven't heard this by now, know that you are never alone. And that means never alone even as you seek to do these challenges, as you seek to bump up from what you have or what you do a little bit more each time. God bless you as you seek solitude with him.